Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Craig Ranch. Let's check out this one, but again, before we do, right here is the link, right there is my QR code that takes you directly to my free mobile app. Go ahead and download it, it only works on phone and you will get home sent directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check this one out. So, Craig Ranch. I'm gonna call this a village. There's like five different communities within it. It is pretty neat. It is gated. HOA is $75 a month. Look at this big park. Really, really neat community. We are up in the north. I'm gonna call it north because it's maybe just a hair northeast. But before we get into this one, again, if you are thinking about buying new, want to buy new, considering buying new, call a realtor first. Before you go into the models, before you fill out information online, you need to bring the realtor with you the first time you go. If you don't, you're gonna work directly with the builder and the salespeople. The salespeople actually have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder, so they don't represent you. So if you want representation, and again, fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. All my info is down in the description below. This one right here, this is in the Serenity Collection. This is the 1816 model, and as you can guess, 1816 square feet single story three bed two bath den two bay garage this one starts at 359 990 now before we get into this i always ask this question when i come in and i know we have so many new followers but it's always the same answer do you like the door on the side like this okay wait new question and i really am curious to hear this is this acceptable where the door is on the side but it's facing forward or this one where it's in the little alcove i'm sure most are going to say the other is acceptable this uh, it's a little i know i know i already hear the the responses down in the comments below but leave a comment and let me know what you think so coming in again do me that huge favor and make sure to hit the like button also do not forget to subscribe again i try to put new videos out every single day i have been a little under the weather i missed like a week but again i try to put new videos out every single week so coming in 100 right off the bat the flooring is optioned up so keep that in mind we have eight foot doors 10 foot ceilings and this room they've turned into an office they've added the electrical package with the can lights normally you're only going to get that and that is a pre-wire cap for your ceiling fan light fixture. Now this is, oh, excuse me, this is just the den. So they've turned the den into an office space. Interesting office chairs. <laughs> I feel like um, soccer practice or like chilling on the beach, but it feels nice and large. This is a big office den space. I'm gonna try to sneak over here and get it from a different angle, but these are pretty far out. Big window. And then they did this pretty cool desk that comes up and all the way to the ceiling. I'm getting much more like beachy vibes in this room. I'm gonna come over here just again so you can see we have a TV on the wall even. This room feels really, really big. It's just hard to stand over there. Again, with these 10 foot ceilings, it's big. Coming on down right here, again, right there's the front door. Uh, lock, I'm guessing coat closet, maybe linens, because the laundry room is right here. I don't know. They're probably just storing stuff in it. And then we have our powder room. So, uh, pedestal, sink, and we have our toilet. It's actually a pretty good size powder room, because the toilet's pretty far over. I feel like it's almost too close to the wall, but it is nice that it's a little way from the sink. And then you have all of this room for any like shelving or anything you want. They even did the picture frame mirrors. They tiled that whole back wall. I hope it's coming up on camera. Nice bathroom, really nice vanity. So right here, we're coming into our laundry room. And again, big laundry room. You can see there's the area for hamper, washer, dryer. And then they did the uppers. Those are 100% an upgrade. They're just gonna give you a shelf. But flooring, again, optioned up. Let's keep on going. And if I didn't mention it before, HOA is 75 a month. Again, we're up here in the northern part of the valley. Right here, 
you know what? We're gonna skip on this and gonna keep on going till we see those other bedrooms. Nice, big, open. So I'm gonna save the kitchen for the end. So coming on down, let's keep going all the way around. So, first bedroom. You have this little drop area, but again, the door is gonna swing open. So, it's a decent size room, but it feels so much bigger because of these high ceilings. Again, these 10 foot ceilings, they did the can lighting. Nice size window that opens. That may be a queen size bed. It looks larger than a full. It's a pretty good size bed. I think this is a queen. Tiny, tiny little nightstands. And then we have a little dresser over here. Uh, you know what? This is a full, but the bed frame makes it pretty big. So keep those things in mind. It's a little bit tight. I feel like they shouldn't have put that big of a frame in this bedroom. And then we have our two door closet slider. If you need more space, move that bar up, add a second one. You've literally doubled your closet space. Coming on back around. So right here we have before we get in that bedroom, we have our bathroom. So full bath right here. They did a shower only, so that's an optional upgrade. And just a single vanity. Hmm, I mean, it's really neat, the stone they chose. I don't know if the, oh yeah, the sparkle coming out. There's a lot of contrast in it. So let's see if these are upgraded. Uh, they feel pretty standard. I don't know with the um, poles, but we have really nice stone, undermounted sink. They did the backsplash. They did picture frame mirror, and I always joke about it because I know it's different areas throughout the country that don't have medicine cabinets anymore. I guess it's more growing up in California where the homes are a little bit older. We have our toilet, and then again, upgraded from tub shower combo to shower only, and they tiled it. Normally you're gonna have the combo and it's gonna be fiberglass composite material. They're trying to show off something different. Really, really nice. I just wish it had my soap niche and then we would be perfect. Really nice shower though. If we spin around, we come into our second bedroom. Same exact bedroom as the first one, so. It's funny because this bed frame's smaller, the room feels bigger because there's so much more stuff in this room. Again, they did the can lighting, same window, full size bed, two nightstands with our windows, our caffeine <laughs> picture. But there's more stuff in this bedroom and it feels bigger than the other one. It's weird how furniture can do that. But if we come on and around, these are slightly smaller rooms than some of the builders do, but I'm gonna call it pretty standard size. They just feel bigger again because of those ceilings. Two door slider, not bad. So let's go ahead and before we see this amazing kitchen, I'm gonna save it. Let's check out the master. Again, do me that huge favor. Make sure to hit the like button. Also make sure to subscribe. So they did some built-ins right here, nice. I don't know if those are standard. Those may be an option. Some builders, I know they are. And then coming into the bedroom itself. Wow, really nice size bedroom. This is huge. They need the bench. So king size bed, two big nightstands and they tiled that entire wall. Um, interesting choice. What do you guys think of the tile on that wall? I do like the three windows. I'll be honest with you on that. Huge slider, but I'm gonna be honest again, you can see people right there. So I'm gonna call it a Vegas window. <laughs> again, not everyone wants to put on a free show. I usually say that in the bathroom, but they did the can lighting. Right there is your center cap for your pre-wire. This room is really, really big. They even put two TV consoles over here. That TV looks so small on that wall, but let me come on over here. It's a big, big bedroom. I keep getting very San Diego beach vibes. If we spin back around. It's a large, large bedroom. Coming on into the bathroom. So it's an interesting layout. 
You have your vanity, shower, vanity, and I always make fun of this. The towel rack is so far away. Most people I think are just gonna put their towel right on the vanity because it is kind of interesting running across the bathroom floor. This is the bigger vanity. Again, same stone, same cabinets, really nice picture frame mirror with our vanity light. Nice shower, really nice shower. I just wish it had a bench right like here or my soap niche. Other than that, there is a little shelf right here. You have your shower head. I do believe they have the ability to do a uh, rain shower head. You have your valve, but very, very nice shower nonetheless. Right here we have our smaller vanity. Again, same stone, same underground sink, same backsplash. I'm a fan of the picture frame mirrors. What do you guys think about those? I know there's more modern, there's more traditional style. I kind of like these. Before we get to the toilet, right here we have our closet. And I'm gonna say the same thing I thought in the other one. This one feels a little bit bigger, but double bar and shelf, double bar and shelf, single bar and shelf. It's a decent size closet, but the master bedroom is huge. And then I feel like this bathroom is really good size. Hmm. I feel like that closet could be bigger. Other than that, very, very nice bathroom. And then we have our toilet area. And that toilet is like a mile away from the door. This door can swing open and you do not need to be worried about getting trapped. Nice, nice bedroom. Nice master bathroom, nice master suite. Let's go ahead and head on into the rest of the house. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. There is complete openness in this room. I'm gonna come over here really quickly to show you the backyard. But again, remember when you buy new, you need to budget for a backyard. Average backyard is somewhere between 12 and $15,000. It's hard to tell how much they spent over there because I can't go outside. They lock them. But do keep that in mind when you buy new, the backyard is going to be dirt. I believe this is an option, the covered patio. And then you would have to do all the rest of the landscaping. So. We spin back around. They did a lot in here. Again, the flooring is optioned up. They did this whole tiled wall with the linear fireplace and it's a gas fireplace at that. Ooh, that is probably somewhere between 12 and $25,000 for that option. I know different builders charge different things. It can be really expensive for that size. They did the TV with the mantle. I like this idea actually of how they set this up with the bench there. So if you wanna sit closer to the fireplace or if you wanna be able to talk to people, it's kind of a neat idea. Right here we have our dining space and they could have gone even a little bit bigger. Actually the table fits really, really well though. So six person dining, they could easily put four dine or bar stools under here. There's a lot of counter space in this one. I know the only thing I had to say about the other one with the kitchen, I wish it had more counter space. Not the case here. They did the 42 inch uppers. They did the double uppers. They did the backsplash. Let's go ahead and come on around. This is a very nice kitchen. Oh, it keeps getting better. I'm seeing little things, double oven. So you have all of your storage under here. They do have a phone outlet. They have even USB ports. If we spin around really quickly. We have our Dishwasher, more storage, stainless steel undermounted sink. And then here's your view. You can see everyone out here. You can watch TV, you can talk to everyone. I kind of like how they did this with this huge open concept. Spinning back around. So oven there, oven here, convection microwave. So technically you have three ovens in this house. They even did the crown molding all the way up at the ceiling. Good luck reaching those without a ladder. They're, they're up there though for the long-term storage. I do believe you can even get them in glass. So if you wanna do like this, the display on the uppers, you can do that. But they did the glass displays here and here. And I asked it in the other video, would you like them on the ones right next to the uh, cooktop? I don't know. I feel like I cook too much and I would get them dirty, but they do look very, very pretty. Right here is our two car garage. They always keep it locked. So unfortunately I can't get in them. They store things in there. They backsplashed all the way around. Right here is our, I would call it probably primary oven. We have 
our five burner cooktops backsplashed all the way up to this amazing vent hood. And then it keeps going around and our refrigerator. What do you think about this one? <clears throat> Excuse me, it's pretty nice. I wanna hear your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to me. All my info is down in the description below. Do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really helps the channel out. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.